See? You can't see? Not, you can't not see, see that. It's not just a coffee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm up. My seat now. Alan Doyle up. and Bob Hallett, two thirds of Great Big C, join us, gentlemen. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, it's we were, great to be we were, here. We were talking earlier. This isn't the most. I love this show. It's not the most. <laughs> oh well, thank you. I do. It's like the energy of this show is fantastic. Oh. So I was here one time before, and it was like motivated. this place is on wheels long before we even get out of bed. I always feel with musicians, right it's now. like we're asking a lot because this is not your most. This is not your peak time of day. No, well, we didn't go to bed, so it, 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 <laughs> it's it working out quite See, well. See, that's the right plan. No, you are. It, you are right. It is. It is a wonderful, wonderfully uh, difficult thing to be. Uh, awake this time of day if you play music for a living. But we get, you get kind of used to it. And after 20 years on the road doing yep. it, well, we're, here we are. Well, here we go. Amazing. So this is, this is the greatest hits. Yeah, that's a collection of uh, some of our favorite pop songs and some of our favorite traditional pieces of music. Yes. And, uh, but that, some new stuff too, right? And some new stuff in each of those genres. And then the big box set that you're holding there, that's the daddy of them all. Is Just it? pop it open. It's pretty cool. It's got... Um, yeah, it's got like There's a calendar, a booklet, in here. a whole bunch of different things in there. Pieces of paraphernalia from our years. Cod no, tongue. You wish I had some cod tongues in There's here. no cod tongues in there. Uh, I never heard a package. The What's little, this all about? <clears throat> that's just one of the many things from uh, it's from the history of our, our folly. Um, it's a, we, uh, we dressed up as Kiss for a Halloween gig yeah. in Acadia. Was it, Bobber? Acadia University in, in Wilfrid, Nova Scotia. Scotia. or 96, I think. And uh, it was, we thought it was a great idea, and, and we just... When we send around a Christmas card, this is before the internet, you see, when you actually had to mail people stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was our Christmas card to all the people's on our mailing list and stuff. And right. Yeah, it's a great collection of, you know, music and... So lots of good stuff. Yeah, the five, there's a DVD in there that's Damn. all behind the scenes. What's this retail for? Full book. I don't know what it's going for, Bob. Do you know it's... That's a, quite reasonably priced. I mean, yeah, uh, it's a know, bargain, a whatever it is. Dollars. The bargain. It's not like Rihanna's new two hundred forty-five. You, no, you honestly no, no, no. can't afford not to have it. You're yeah. saving yourself money by buying a couple. Oh, yeah, you have to go up buy it all separately. So you're you're playing uh, Sunday night, we are. right? I and so the, after twenty Danforth. years, is it still is it still exciting yes. to play songs from fifteen years ago? Yes, it is. You still yeah. get it? Yeah, and it's like I, I think it, it would be impossible to be in this business if you didn't love the concert. You know, if you still didn't get a bit nervous and a thrill at 10 to 8, you know, mm -hmm. for stage time. Mm -hmm. It's still a wonderful way to make a living, you know, and it's a wonderful, especially in Great Big C, because we, we, you know, we always, we're not, we're not even the stars of our show. Right. You know, our audience has always been so, you know, participatory and involved, and it's, so it's like, it's a great thing, and it's a... We, we've been it's lucky been, enough to be able to create this party and then invite people to it, and then they, they you yeah. know, they're part of it. It's not just, yeah. we're not just preaching to them. Right. They're singing and dancing. They go home with sore throats and sore hands and sore what feet. What you've done over the years for the tourism in Newfoundland, Newfoundland and Labrador? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been an honest byproduct of it all. I mean, we didn't set out to be Newfoundland ambassadors necessarily, but we kind of ended up being by default just because, for better or for worse, we're, we end up being people's first impression at a place yeah. a lot of times, yeah. especially in different parts of the states and the world. And you cannot not you cannot go there and not love it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You, you obviously well, never met my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is. I, I think one of the things that Newfoundland has going for it, and perhaps the biggest thing in in North America, especially, is that it is, honest to God, a different place. Yeah. When you go to you know. There's, there's a you know a large part of North America that starts to feel a bit the same, every now, or you know slightly different here, there, and everywhere. Yep. But you know, and then you go to Newfoundland, and you feel like you've gone to a different place. It's and, so distinct. And the music is a big part of that, you know. And it's like, and that's one of the reasons it's been great to be a musician from Newfoundland, yeah. because we we grow up in a place where our history and our culture and our day-to-day -day events of our lives have been recorded in song, not in story necessarily, or not in history, or not in books, but in music, you know. So. If you want to sing songs for a living, it's a great place to be born because they're already there. Nobody could ever say that your music sounds like anybody else's. Mm. And even hearing you, I, I've been following, you've been, you've had a pretty exciting week from being in New York, yeah. right? With Sting. With, I was played with Sting a couple of weeks ago. And then Blue Rodeo. And Blue Rodeo did a night. You've been busy. It's been pretty cool. We've been lucky. Uh, I think that uh, we started with a plan, which was we were going to integrate the music we grew up with as children, you know, the traditional music of Newfoundland, yeah. and those instruments and those rhythms and those sounds, and we were going to make pop music out of that. Right. So rather than drawing on hip hop or the blues or Nashville country music, our, we were going to start with Newfoundland music. So everything we've done after, you know, every direction we've gone, every sort of route we've driven down, it always has that part of it, and yes. that's what makes it different. Well, but, but that's also what endears people to you, yeah. is that you, you cling to that, that core stays the same. And it's never been a chore. It's never been like some cross we had to bear or something like that. 
it's, it's literally kind of born into you. Yes. And in a way, in a very practical way, I don't mean that to sound kind of ethereal, it's actually very practical in that, like, you know, most people, I think, say in North America, have five or six songs that a hundred people would know, you know, happy right. birthday, and you know something else. In Newfoundland, just even nine musicians, there's 30 or 40 that they know. Yes. Just because, like, I don't remember learning to sing Lukey's Boat I, it, or it, Eyes to Buy. It's just an extraordinary culture. So we wanted to play a little game. You, you were going to give us some trivia questions. Not trivia questions. What was the basic? I think, I think the concept game. of your game, if I understand it correctly, is yes. just... Yes. What is the so concept? To confuse well, you, to to confuse you by dialect. Newfoundland dialect and sayings. And we would ask a couple. And, and we're going to try and de decipher you, you what it is you said. You guys are trying to figure out. And there's two types of, of first of all, there's two types. There's the, the one type would be a thing like where you say something like, San to go by. And you just, you can't understand the words you're hearing. So that's yeah. one type. And then there's another type where you do understand the words you're hearing, but they make no sense in context. So if I say, well, it's a great day on clothes. It's a great day on clothes. Yeah. That's one of my favorite ones. I always love that one. I don't know. And it wouldn't say, my grandmother wouldn't say it like that. She would say grand day. She, Honey, it's a grand day on clothes. Does that What's mean that the mean? weather's nice outside? It does. It means it's a warm. Good for you. It means it's a, a warmish, windy, breezy day. All right. Okay. So it's warm. It's a great day to hang clothes well, on. When I went out this morning, oh, okay. I didn't take, you know, I didn't take careful uh, uh, care of my appearance, and my mother said, "You look like a birch broom in a fit." <laughs> and you said, "Yeah, mom, whatever." And what does that mean? That means you look like a broom. Uh, it's just got <laughs> kind of strays. So your hair is a mess. That's what being. Go like back and try over. Go back and okay. comb your hair. Try again. What else have we got? Well, one of the ones that's become really common is, and I think it's a gorgeous saying, is the one called the arse is out of her. The arse is out of her. The arse is out of it? Yeah, oh. or her. Out of her. The arse is out of her. And, you know, it's definitely a, a boat reference, right, where, like, you know, there's a the leaky bottom of the boat. There's a leaky bit, there's a bit, but when the arse is out of her, it's done. It's That's done. a metaphor it's for everything. Over. And it becomes it become a wonderful metaphor for like when, guys, I'm it's sorry, but this is done. We're, 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 the <laughs> <is> <laughs> we're done. Have you seen the, have you seen the Wadia app? App? I have, yeah. yeah I a had good, a really good time. It's very clever. Right it's very clever, yeah. See, I thought yeah. it would prepare me for this, yeah. but it didn't. Uh, it's just an extraordinary culture. I shot a documentary there in Brigus. Newfoundland. Beautiful. Uh, about one, of years ago. one of the oldest settled ones in the Brigus and Cuban circles. Beautiful. So it's, it's, you, you have to go and be embraced by the people of Newfoundland. It'll change your life. Right, Guys, thanks you. so much for coming in. Alan Doyle, Bob Hallett. Thank you. There's Thank the you. big Good box set you. right there. Amazing. Uh, and the greatest hits. And when's the concert? Uh, we play November 4th, uh, this Sunday at the Danforth. And then there's a whole list of you know, 20, 20th anniversary celebration tours. Starts in 2013. It rolls out right now. So. We're going all across the states. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for coming.